of the Buffalo Bills Alumni Foundation, uh, Mr. Ed Rakowski, who played on the 64-65 championship team, Buffalo Bills. In the last 20 years, uh, we've raised approximately $2 million to donate to uh, local charities in the Western New York area. And this year, our major fundraising effort is uh, Cure the Blue uh, program, which is to raise money for uh, prostate cancer research, and the funds go to uh, uh, the uh, charities in uh, Western New York. The person who has instituted this is a good friend of ours, an uh, all-pro uh, uh, defensive cornerback and a Wall of Famer, Booker Edgerson, who is a two-time survivor of prostate cancer. This is a program that I had been looking for, or looking at for the last five years, and trying to gain support from different individuals and businesses and organizations. Uh, and finally, uh, the inspiration really came uh, last year. And uh, so I decided to go ahead on and put this project to work uh, with the support of the community and the, uh, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they, have, they support a lot of our uh, projects and everything, and we know they're going to support this as well. Uh, we got other organizations going to do it. But my biggest purpose is, is that we want to raise money for uh, research in prostate cancer. We also want to make it a focus, awareness for men to get out and get checked at least once a year at the age of 40. And especially minority males, they need to get checked because they are subject to uh, prostate cancer a lot uh, easier than the general population because of the economic side of it and also because of the um, eating habits that they have you with greasy food, stuff like that and it creates a problem there. But the, the other piece is, is that we want to make sure that the blue campaign, which is the Cure to Blue, is something equal to the pink program, which is the breast cancer program for women. If we can just be half successful as the pink program, because we all know that is one very successful program for women, and we just want to copy from that program and be a part of the system and, and get things done. And Dan, with Lakeshore Savings Bank has been a partner with us for, for the last five years and we're just so thankful that he has taken the, the charge to make sure that we get the word out. And Coach Martin Levy, who is a survivor as well, uh, he's been very instrumental in getting us moving uh, with a face like this here and a successful coach that went to the Super Bowl four years in a row. Um, you know, who can have a better advocate for prostate cancer than having Coach Marv Levy. And he's from my home state, Illinois, as well. Uh, Marv, go okay. ahead on. All right, I will go on, Booker, although Booker articulated it perfectly, what the purpose of Cure the Blue is, how important it is, and how the, what directions to go. I don't know what you mean about a face like this, but I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but he's articulated it perfectly, as I said. And uh, it would just be repetitious for me uh, to go on beyond that. But I'm, I'm uh, certainly, uh, certainly willing, very willing, and uh, proud to be part of this endeavor because it will mean so lot. Uh, cure the blue. Thank you for keeping inviting me in. The exciting thing about this is this is going to be a national campaign at some point. Uh, the Independent Bankers Association of New York State is going to be the lead agency that Lakeshore will work with with other community banks and bring this program through the Independent Community Bankers Association to a national level, working with other alumni associations uh, throughout uh, the United States. So very exciting, very proud, and it's all what Lakeshore is all about when it comes to putting people first, helping, energizing, respecting, and serving. So thank you. I am a, a prostate cancer survivor. and. I learned at that time that there had been other former Buffalo Bills who were also that way. I received great support, moral support from a lot of these people during that time. And I've admired the work that's being done by Ed and Brooke Booker and, and people like that. So whenever they ask me to uh, speak up or to be part of it, I'm certainly pleased to do that.